first truly global empire, and it's basically a secret empire. We do it many ways, but, but, but principally, uh, we identify a country that has resources our corporations covet, like oil, range a huge loan to that country from the World Bank or one of its sisters. The money never actually goes to the country. It goes to our own corporations to build big infrastructure projects in that country that help a few very wealthy people but don't benefit the majority of the people who are too poor to buy electricity or have cars to drive on the highways, and yet they're left holding a huge debt that they can't repay. So we go back at some point and say, you know, you can't pay your debts. Give us a pound of flesh. Sell your oil real cheap to our oil companies. Vote with us on the next critical UN vote. Allow us to build a military base in your backyard. Something along these lines. And when we fail, the jackals go in and either overthrow or assassinate these leaders. And if the jackals fail, as they did in, in, in Iraq, then we send in the military. I don't think the failure is capitalism. I think it's a specific kind of capitalism where we've developed, we've created what I consider a mutant viral form of capitalism. And this mutant form of capitalism, which I think is really a predatory form of capitalism, has created an extremely unstable, unsustainable, unjust, and, and very, very dangerous world. Uh, I've met a lot of terrorists. I've interviewed them for books. I've never met one who wanted to be a terrorist. They're desperate people. If we want to get rid of terrorism, we must get rid of the root causes, that cancer that is destroying uh, our whole system. Because I think it's really important that we understand today we cannot have homeland security unless we understand that the whole planet is our homeland.